Hi guys, so today what we're going to look at is uh, solving irrational equations. So first of all, I suppose we sort of go look at what an irrational equation is. So an irrational equation is essentially something that has a square root in it. So for example, we have root x plus 1 here, plus 1 is equal to x. So this has a square root in Therefore, it's an irrational equation. So here's our square root. And how do we solve these? Well, we just follow a few basic steps. And if we continue to do these every single time, then we won't have any issues in doing this. So the first thing what we do is we have to try and isolate a square root. And what I mean by that is I want a square root on its own. So you see here, this is not isolated at the moment because we have the plus one on the same side. So I need to isolate this. So I need to get rid of this plus one. I need to throw it across to the other side here. So this is fairly straightforward. All we do is leave the root x plus one on the left-hand side and then put x minus one on the right-hand side. That's the same equation. But I have now isolated this square root. Once I've isolated the square root, the second thing I do, I need to get rid of the square root. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to square both sides. So if I do that, I'm going to end up with this. So I get x plus 1 all squared is equal to x minus 1 all squared. Now, the square root and the square will disappear or cancel. And that means that we'll be left with x plus 1 on the left-hand side is equal to, and I'm going to have to square out this bracket, and it's a fairly basic binomial, so it's just x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, you can see here what's going to happen is I am now left with a quadratic to solve, so I'll take everything across to the right hand side, so I get x squared minus 3x is equal to 0. So we can now solve this quadratic, it's a factorization one, because we don't have any constants, so I'm going to take x out, I get x minus 3 is equal to 0 on the left hand side here, and solving this I get x is equal to 0, or x minus 3 is equal to 0, and x is equal to 3. Now, this is the one thing that you have to be aware of when we are dealing with irrational equations. We have to check each of the answers in the original equation, and we are only taking the positive square root as the answer. So, for example, if I end up with root 4, the answer is just 2. It's not plus or minus 2, it's just 2. Now, we check our solution, so let's just check x is equal to 0. If we put that in, we get 0 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, well, 0 plus 1 is the square root of 1, which is just 1, plus 1 is equal to 0. And here what you can see is 2 is equal to 0. That is false. And therefore, x equals to 0 is not a solution. Let's just check the second one, which is x is equal to 3. Okay, so put 3 in. So we get th root of 3 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. Okay. So root 3 plus 1 is just 4, so root 4 is 2, plus 1 is equal to 3, and 3 is indeed equal to 3, and that's the solution that we want. Okay, the main thing to remember about solving these irrational equations, guys, is that we have to check both of the solutions to see if they work, and the second thing is that the square root of 4 is only positive 2. It's not negative 2.